What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we pretty much saved this whole village from a, a, a very nasty blizzard. Very, very bad. You know, everybody would have been buried in snow. Snowmen would have drowned and all that stuff, and, uh, well, yeah, we are the heroes yet again. So now, in our next adventure, we have to go to the next route. Completely forgot the name of the route, but we're going to go there anyways. Yeah, we're going to go right here. Okay. Alrighty. So, Frost Cavern. Everything is good to go. And I do believe that you have to go... Not right here. Oh, yeah. You have to go right here, I think. Probably. No, there's another bias uh, aerial trainer right there. You can you can fight two aerial trainers right here, guys. But if you have a Halucha, don't expect to get any kind of treatment, any, uh, any special treatment from them. Because they think that it's not really a flying-type Pokemon. So, we're going to go slide down. I'm back, baby. And uh, we're going to go right here towards the next route, which I don't know what the name is. We're going to find out eventually. Let's go ahead and talk to these people. Let's see. Bust right through the with Mammoth Swine. Ah, a dead giveaway. To me, Mammoth Swine has got to be the easiest Pokemon to ride. You don't say. Let's see what we are talking about right here. And here we are, Mammoth Swine Road, Route 17. And if you guys don't remember, hold on. On the back of the Mammoth Swine, you can smash any rocks on your way. If you guys don't remember, back at Frost Cavern, we met this individual with his Mammoth Swine. We found out that this Mammoth Swine right here had a, a friend named Obama Snow. And, you know, it was being attacked and all that stuff. So now that everything is clear, this guy is going to be like, Ahoy there, trainer! Shortly after you headed off to Frost Cavern, Mammoth Swine came back. Did something happen over there? They were trying to use Obama Snow as some kind of energy source. I wonder if that's the same Abomasno as the one our Mammoth Swine is friends with. See, a few years back, an Abomasno came into town carrying a Mammoth Swine that was all beat up and injured from something. I wonder if the Mammoth Swine was worried about its pal. Trainer, you should ride on the Mammoth Swine's back to the other side. This deep snow and all the rocks along the path are nothing against Mammoth Swine's strength. Ah, okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Riding on a Mammoth Swine right here. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is totally gonna be my uh, my my thumbnail. And uh, well, where's some rocks? I wanna I wanna destroy some rocks right here. Well, we're going up into the snow. And uh, again, you're, you're gonna get attacked by Pokemon either way, guys. So make sure to have a repel. And my microphone's gonna be right here. And look at that, we found ourselves a Sneasel. I remember back in the day, Sneasel was a pretty good Pokemon. Well, in my eyes. Um, Pretty good Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG game. I, I heard it was like a very broken uh, card. They probably fixed that up. And, well, we are finding some rocks. But we're going to get attacked by Pokemon yet again. And, well, look at this. We are attacked by a Delibird. You know, times like these, I need to put on a Repel because I don't have the time to, uh, to get attacked by Pokemon right now. So, let's go right ahead and use... Go right ahead and use, let's see, a, a super repel, a max repel, whatever we, repel we have. We have 14 of these little suckers. So let's go right ahead and continue on an adventure unattacked or anything, however I said it. So here we go. Press the A button and bam, you're going to be destroying some boulders right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, come on. Uh, we got to go. I was like, I was about to say, this Pokemon needs to lose some weight right here. And we're smashing both these rocks, and we're going to press the B button. From there, you can uh, go up to these slopes, and you're going to be able to find yourself some uh, hidden items. And there we go. We found ourselves a timer ball. That right there will help us out with, well, any kind of Pokemon that are, I guess, uh, very, very stubborn to catch. And here we found ourselves an icicle plate. This, of course, will power up any kind of ice-type moves and all that stuff. And, well... Let's see, what else can we find right here? Uh, nothing. Hold on. There might be something. That is why we get our handy dandy. Our handy dandy, uh, what was it called? Item finder. That way it will be a whole lot easier to find. And well, as you guys can see, we are finding another place. This will lead us to another aerial fighter, <laughs> another aerial uh, uh, challenger and all that stuff. We don't have a, a true fl a flying type Pokemon. So yeah, we're going to have to walk away from this. Get to the uh, get to our little uh, mammoth swine, go through the snow and all that crud. Yeah, buddy, look at that. 
Alrighty. Okay. We are moving. We are moving. We're going right here. And we're going to... Well, yeah, we're going to be using another repel because, well, we don't want to get attacked by more Pokemon. What do you think I am? All right, let's get off of... Uh, oh, hold the phones. Hold the phones. I see another boulder right here. Let's go right ahead and smash this little sucker right here. Bam, and let's go and see what this is all about right here. There might be a hidden item somewhere. Somewhere around this part. Nope, just this. And we found ourselves a calcium. A, uh, a very good, uh, a very good vitamin. And well, let's see. Let's go right over here. Nothing, probably. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Yeah, there's literally nothing. And uh, well, let's see. Nothing else. Nope. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So, let's see. Any news of the sort? Well, this game right here. I'll tell you what, it's going to be very quick to finish because, you know, you guys have heard my rants in the last few episodes. They they really didn't put a, a whole lot uh, into the whole Kalos region, which is kind of disappointing because, like, you know, it's one of my favorite regions for some for some reason. Like, well, yeah, for some reason, the Kalos region is one of my favorite regions, probably because I played it so many times that it, I consider it a favorite of mine. Maybe it's the Mega Evolution uh, portion. Now, if we're going right here and it sees grass... Mammoth Swine will know when not to go. So here we are, no repels, and we are crossing into the next portion of this, and we're gonna get a hollow clip message. And from here, who might it be? Oh, hello there, Draven. This time, I challenge you to uh, to a battle in front of the Anistar City Gym. Prepare yourself. Whatever you say, baby. Whatever you say. She is gorgeous. Especially in the anime, she's like, they really did a good job in a, like a, a, a character building and all that stuff. And well, before we do anything, look at us. We found ourselves a rare candy that will uh, that will actually help us out in the long run right there. Now, here we are going into the next city. Talk to this girl. You know what I'm, I find interesting? No matter how much scientific uh, progress we make, we may never fully understand everything that happened in the past. This is all but true. And uh, I sure wish there was a sun floor around in Anistar Sundial. Pokemon that keep their faces to the sun uh, and the sundial keeps the time by the sun's travel. Sunlight and the shadow play uh, at play is a sweet to see. Huh. I, I don't get it. All right, people. So here we are in Anistar City. And, uh, well, you there. We are... Yeah, we're getting uh, ambushed right here. I came in the place of Dexio to tell you something. There's a person here in Anistar City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put them to good use. And here we get ourselves a repeat ball. Or quite a few repeat balls. And repeat balls make it easier to catch kinds, uh, kinds of Pokemon that you've already caught before. Even though they're the same species, the strengths and natures of individual Pokemon can be very different. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to be finishing off this episode by battling our girlfriend Serena. In the next episode, we're going to take a small tour of this whole place. It's very interesting. And then, uh, you know, we're going to end it up with, we're going to end up with a, a Pokemon gym battle right there. So, let's go right ahead and pick out the Pokemon we need right here. So, let's go with Blade. And, uh, Anastar City Gym, how's it going? Draven! There she is. Mm, 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 mm. Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were going to be rivals back at the cafe in Lumioi City. After all... Oh, well, alright. Well, I, I should have transitioned into that pretty, uh, like, a little bit better and all that stuff. And, well, here we have Pokemon Trainer Serena. And she's going to be coming out with her Meow Sick. Look at her. Look at her. The female version of it. I am coming out with Blade. And, uh, well, let's go straight for a shadow sneak attack. Look at this. He's sneaking up right behind you. And bam, bam, bam. And here comes a shadow ball. Completely forgot that he could learn that. And that nearly takes us out. Holy buckets. Okay, so we need to watch out for this girl. So here we go again. Shadow sneak for the win. Meowsick defeated. Yeah, buddy. All righty. Okay. All right. And Nacho grows to level 51. And she will be coming out with a Flareon. So let's go straight for 
Let's go with Moko right here. I haven't used him very much. It is very close to evolving. I, I would like for it to evolve. So here's Moko. If you guys don't know what Moko means, it's booger. Because it kind of looks like a big old booger. So let's go straight for a rain dance. And this will weaken any kind of fire type moves by just a little bit. Look at that. Flareon does not like it. So let's go in straight for a bite attack. Moko can take it. And here we go. Muddy waters. Oh, yes. The muddy waters. That right there hits it pretty hard. And here comes a lava plume. And that doesn't do much. Look at that. Yes. Weather effects for the win. And, oh, here comes a quick attack. Because, well, yeah. You know, faster than Moko. And just like that, Flareon has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And, well, let's see. Nova grows to level 48. And who's the next Pokemon? And it's Greninja. So the rain right here is going to benefit Greninja just a tad bit. But I'm going to go with Nova. That way, you know, type advantage. My Thunderbolt will hit it pretty hard. Look at that. Greninja looking pretty... Pretty solid right there. So let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack. And, well, here comes a Dark Pulse. And, oh, my God. That was that was very powerful. And, yes, you are paralyzed. Okay, all righty. I was hoping for that. And, well, we got leftovers. Completely forgot about that. So let's go ahead and finish this Pokemon off with a Thunderbolt. Seriously thought Greninja was going to go for, like, a quick attack or something. And there you go, Greninja defeated. Nova gets some points. Blade grows to level 49. And the rain has stopped. And we get a little bit more from our leftovers. See, I prepare my Pokemon. And here comes an Absol. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. Ready to kick some butt and take some names right here. Look at this, Nacho looking pretty buff. Looking pretty awesome right here. And Absol, looking as menacing as as always. Let's go straight for a high jump kick. And that will finish off Absol. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. And Moko has grown to level 46. That right there helps us defeat Serena. She's like, I am just not good enough to bring out the best in my Pokemon. Ah, oh, come on, don't beat up on yourself. You're pretty good. You're very good. You're just, I'm better. I'm way better than you. My Pokemon are so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. One step ahead? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more like 10. Anyway, I'll heal your Pokemon here. See? Get yourself a sweetheart like that. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it. Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so... That right there will end our episode. In the next one, guys, we will be taking a small tour of this whole place. And from there, we're going to be, you know doing some other stuff like taking on the gym leader here so thank you guys again for being patient thank you guys again for being as supportive as, as, as can be wow almost ran into my words like that i'll see you guys in the next episode as we take on the anastar city gym leader see you guys